podcast called 30 Love because everyone should have at least two. And my latest guest was Mark Milne, who's proselytizing the virtues of what he calls 30-30 tennis. And he has very specific cricket-derived reasons for calling it that. He's Scottish. And his idea is to start games at deuce. I'm sorry I said it that way, Mark. I know that you say start them at 30 all, but they start at deuce effectively. And then see what happens from there. And otherwise, do do exactly what the standard rules of scoring of tennis say you should do. So it's sets to six, at six all, play a tie break, and so on. And I just tried it today for the first time. I was immediately intrigued when I heard about the idea. And it really does make every point count. I think every point from deuce on is exciting. I mean, sometimes the quality of the point isn't, certainly at the level I play. And there was something crudely satisfying about the sets ending in scores that sounded familiar. And I, it felt like we got in more tennis. And I think some of that is psychological because often love all and frankly, 30 love points are forgettable. So anyway, I don't expect to see that at a tour event anytime soon, but for sandbox tournaments like the next gen finals or exhibitions, it's, I think, a worthy alternative to consider. So if you had to pick between 3030 and fast four, which one would you go with? Well, this is based on just one one time doing it, but I would go with 3030. I've done fast four a lot for similar motivations, just mix things up, get through sets faster, more resets. And I, I do like it, although I don't think no ad really added, no pun intended, much to the experience. But I I, I just really liked the the feeling of immediately jumping into a game at 30 all. Uh, it, it felt somewhat more nerve wracking, but mostly more exciting. Yeah, I can I can see the momentum shifting really rapidly um, and heavily in each direction. If we believe in momentum, I don't know if we do. Um, so, and you've played, you said you've played fast four. Yeah. A lot more than 30, 30. Okay. Um, how do you think that would work? I mean, do, do, how do you think professional tennis would look playing 30, 30? I mean, would it be, I mean, it seems like the, the level of tension or excitement would be quite high all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe that means that it's never high based on the baseball fan perspective. But no, I think that it would immediately put players under pressure from the very beginning of a set. And it would also mean more breaks. So there would be more yeah. sense of, okay, I did just lose my serve by losing two points right away, but I can break back at some point because I just have to do the same. And I think, you know, I think a lot of fans watching tennis have that experience of like not really paying attention early in games and then kind of getting more focused as the game goes. So it just, it just cuts, it skips ahead. It cuts out those, those moments of lagging interest. 